Hi everyone, uh, Josh here at the Scott Arena of Swarthmore College. I'm standing inside uh, the head house of the Worcester Center. And recently I heard a really interesting uh, news clip from NPR talking about how a lot of online seed companies are having a huge, huge uptick in sales right now. And it makes sense since so many of us are home right now and we're in the middle of a beautiful, beautiful spring season. Right now is a perfect time to start seeds, especially vegetable seeds, uh, maybe something for cut flowers. Um, April also happens to be National Garden Month. So I thought what I would do is share a few tips so that the seeds that you're about to start um, are off to a great and successful start. So let's talk seeds, the most important uh, component. Um, if you have seeds, go ahead and you know use those. If they're several years old, you might want to get some fresh seed as after um, a couple seasons, the seed does lose viability, meaning it won't germinate very well for you. Um, some of my kind of go-to seed companies that are online include Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They do a really great job of providing a lot of rare and unusual vegetables from around the world. Uh, Botanical Interests and Burpees are two others that I really enjoy. Johnny's. Uh, Johnny's is much like Burpee. It's a very kind of a robust um, company that's been around for a while. Great, great selection. And then Select Seeds and Renee's Gardener. Two more smaller companies, uh, but ha have an equally impressive offering. Go ahead and order your seeds now. Um, you might find there's a little bit of a lag in shipping given that so many people are trying to order uh, seeds right now. And a lot of these companies also feature free shipping if, if you reach a certain minimum, which is also a great feature. Uh, next up is soil. And when we say soil, what we're really talking about is, is growing media. Um, and there is a difference. Uh, soil is probably what you have outside. Um, in your veggie garden and if you want to plant directly into your vegetable garden, you know, obviously do directly into the soil uh, But that soil should not be brought indoors to put into your pots or um, You know what whatever you're trying to start um, those seeds inside and that's for a couple of reasons uh, One is that soil probably has seeds of its own and some of those seeds are weeds. It also has lots of living creatures in it um, worms and bugs and insect eggs, things like that. Stuff that you probably really don't want in your house. Um, so growing media, you want something that is nice and loose. You want it to be um, kind of light. You want it to hold moisture. And you want lots of kind of different particle sizes. If you can sort of see there's different particle sizes in there, and that's gonna allow moisture to, to go through. It's gonna allow the roots to grow nice and strong. I'm gonna direct sow this spinach um, into this terracotta pot. You can use terracotta, you can use plastic, whatever you happen to have on hand. Um, the idea with this is that I'm gonna have these the spinach seed, these spinach plants that I can kind of pick from, um, and then use, you know, maybe on top of an omelet in the morning for breakfast. So I've scattered the seeds about, kind of see evenly distributed. If you get them kind of, you know, too many in one area, feel free to kind of move them around a little bit, and then add some soil on top. The seeds want to feel nice and secure. Add some soil, just enough to cover the seeds. Break up any clumps, spread it out. Give it a nice gentle pat. After this, I would water this in really good. And also, if you're doing lots of different kinds of seeds, um, make sure you write a label, right? So a label, spinach, the particular variety, salad sensation, and I like to put on the back um, the date uh, that just helps me know when um, the seeds should start to germinate. And that, that information, you know, how many days to germination, how many days the seed should sprout, will be on the back of your seed packet. So stick the label in, give it a good drink, and your seeds are on their way. Heat source. So seeds need moisture and warmth to germinate. Um, Ideally, the temperatures, the ambient room temperature should be around 65 to 75 degrees. So really, the temperature inside most people's home is perfect for germinating seeds. Um, another trick that I um, like to do is whenever I water, I try to water with warm water. Not cold, not you know super hot, but warm water because the soil in your house might get a little chilly and the warm water just again helps keep the soil warm and really helps with germination. And last, but definitely not least, is sunlight. So a lot of seeds don't need light to germinate, 
But as soon as those seeds start to poke through uh, the growing media, they're gonna need sunlight. Um, and so you wanna put the seeds as close to a window as possible. Um, if you have grow lights, you know, you can use that as supplemental light, but really go ahead and give those um, seedlings as much light as you can. If you're growing cool season crops like lettuce, spinach, arugula, um, anything like that, parsley, some of your um, fresh herbs, those guys can go ahead and, and go outside. Once they germinate, put them outside and they'll really appreciate the sunlight. If you're growing things in pots, um, you know, you're gonna start try to start some basil, maybe a couple basil plants um, inside, you know, put those, um, keep those inside until the temperature outside warms up um, to at least 60 degrees. All right, with that, good luck. Happy planting.